Hi, this is the Karazu, and in this recording, we're going to be dealing with uh, square roots. Basically, we have a problem solving question here dealing with uh, the definition of square root. We can solve this question by plugging numbers, but we can also solve this question by using the definition of a square root. Let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this question the easy way first. I'm just going to call it recipe 1. It's the first method. Recipe 1, okay? To do this question. Let's just do this. And I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. I'm going to put recipe 2 here. Okay? Recipe 1, what I recommend you do is just plug a number. You have a variable here, n, and they tell you it's negative, you know, so all you have to do is plug a negative number. Having said that, I recommend you avoid negative 1, because it can be confusing. Try to find, try to plug a number that is at negative 2, negative 3, or something like that. But in general, in this type of uh, questions... You need to avoid negative 1, 0, or 1 if you don't know what you're doing. Basically, most of you don't know exactly what's happening here. And that's why I'm saying that. But if you know what you're doing, you can choose negative 1. You can choose 0. You can choose 1. Okay? Having said that, let's just go ahead and do the question. Okay. So, uh, let's choose uh, n equal to negative 2. So what does it mean? It is mean obviously that uh, this expression here going to be equal to. Be careful. We're going to put this thing again. We have n equal negative two, so we're going to put negative two. You have a negative sign first, minus sign, and then you have the negative two, which is n. And then we have the absolute value of negative 2 as an n square. I hope you agree with this because I'm replacing n by negative 2. So here you're going to have negative, negative, going to be a plus 2. We're going to just write 2. And here, negative 2 square is equal to 4. Okay? And this is going to give us root of 2. Root of 4 here is 2 again. And this is just root of 4. 2 times 2. And finally, you know that root of 4 is equal to 2. Now, root of 4 is not equal to 2 or negative 2. It's just 2. It's by definition. You just take the positive root. Okay? If you don't understand that, you can watch my uh, video about the definition of a square root. We two. Now, all you have to do is uh, the n we have chosen, n equal... Uh, negative 2, just plug, plug it here. Plug it in the answer choices. In all of these answer choices, plug n equal negative 2 and see which one going to have the value of 2. Obviously not negative 1. Here, negative, uh, negative 2, yes, going to give us 2. So this looks good. Is there any other one? 1, no way. Root of negative 2 doesn't even exist. So this would not work. Let's just do this, okay? How about n e? And this is going to give us negative 2. But we want 2. We don't want negative 2. We plug in negative 2, but we want the result to be 2, as you can see here. So this is out. So as you can see, the answer to the question here is B. B. Correct. Okay? So this is a good way of doing the question. A simple way that most of you get, will understand. Now, let's do it the mathematical way, a little bit more sophisticated way. This requires you to know the definition of really the square root, to know about the square root. So, what I would do, I would just write the whole expression again. Okay. And I'm saying that this is equal to negative n 
Now, the definition of the root of n square is absolute value of n, if you don't know. Okay, it is the absolute value of n. Okay. Let me just write it down here. n square equals absolute value of n. This is by definition, okay? By definition. You better know that. It's the positive root of n. So what is this equal to? Now remember that n is negative. If n is negative, also you should know that this should be equal to negative n times a negative n. Why? Because the absolute y, because, let me write down, because the absolute value of n is equal to negative n if n is negative, if you don't know that. Again, watch my video about the definition of absolute value and you'll understand why this is true. When n is negative, the absolute value of n is negative n. Why it is negative n? Because n is negative. We need to apply a negative sign in order to make it positive. Remember that the absolute value is always a non-negative number. It's zero or positive. That's why you need to apply a negative n here. Once again, I refer you back to my video about the definition of absolute value. So finally, this is going to give us that n square, the root of n squared. Negative n times negative n is just n square. And again, this is going to give us the absolute value of n. <laughs> By definition, it's like we are going in circles. Okay? And finally, what is the absolute value of n? Again, it is negative n. Again, by you know, because n is a negative number. Now, obviously, negative n here is b. So this means that b is the answer. But again, this may be too complicated for too much, too much, I mean, for most of you. The math people, you know, the, those people who have math tendencies can appreciate this, even though you can get dizzy if you're not careful, you know. Okay? But most of you are going to definitely like the first method. And I don't blame you. Okay. Again, this is Dakar Azu, and thank you for watching. Thank you.